Gary, how how how's it in Houston? Y'all finna get shut down again? Yeah, it's almost shut down time. We we knocking on a shut down door. Are you Gary like that type of shit, dude. This all up, Gary. Niggas wilder. <laughs> what I like being shut down. Being being like yeah, I gotta not do shit. Basically, like I have a reason to not do shit. I can, well, I'm I can calling work, you lazy. I can work at home. To do shit. I can work. I'm probably gonna crib. do shit. So it's probably best for me to be on shutdown. You gonna have a, a Corona baby? Another one? Nah, I'm good on the Corona baby. I got a I got a fresh baby at the crib now. I know, but it's about that time, right? Nine weeks after. Nah, I'm no? good. I'm good. <laughs> one is enough. He said thanks for your concern. <laughs> How y'all been? Thanks, have y'all man. been staying inside? Nah, I'm still working. What about you, Not me. I be out with my friends. But I stay with my, my own group of people. Uh, whenever I go out, I'm like usually safe, wash my hands, wear a mask. Yeah, yeah. that's good. I don't know why people Niggas are definitely so... definitely feel like as long as they stay with their little click, they corona free. Yeah, that's <laughs> stupid. That's stupid too, but, you know, I got to have fun. Yeah, you got to gotta find um, your outlet. Because it's been how long? March, April, then May, June. Three, four, four months. months. Mm-hmm. Throw 2020. Oh, just throw it away. Maybe I should stop saying that because that's probably how we got here from jump. Somebody it's probably getting worse every time you say throw it away. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm y'all saying? heard about that dust storm that's coming? That's what I'm saying. When do we have dust storms? <laughs> from from the Sahara. From straight from the motherland. Like, I told, I said this on the last episode. I feel like, every, like the universe showing us like everything that could happen within. A blink of an eye, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. it could be from this thing to this thing to this, like, shit real. After There's all so this much is- shit that we, we look past to where, as soon as we look past something, we have something to look forward to because it's, it punch you right in the face. You right. know what I'm saying? Like you, so, so wait, the dust storm put to come way over here? It yeah. is here right yeah, now. Man, ain't no dust at my house. <laughs> uh-huh. I think, I That's think, you ain't been outside. look, I see. think somebody's pressing buttons. And I don't know if it's y'all president, like saying, do this. Oh, what's this? Y'all ever played the Sims, Sim City? I mean, you can make all the fucking natural yeah, disasters happen. I think happen. that's true. Somebody true, is to, playing. To a, cer- to a certain extent, because I, at this day and age, I never thought a president could really do what Trump doing. This motherfucker really doing what the fuck he want. Like, we got a tweeting president that mm-hmm. say any and everything and just blatantly be lying and be like, fuck it. But like yeah, that was the fake. dumbest shit ever. <laughs> like yeah, that they lied. Yeah, I didn't mean it like that. Like, I was so drank bleach. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, I was or, like, like that's it, this shit. This this world we living is crazy. If we stop testing, then the testing, <laughs> then the cases will go down. Like who who is this OG? He don't have like a big a big guy that he could he go. No, 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 no. he ain't got no I homies. I mean, it's, it's just clear. It's just clear that he's a business owner and his only. It, like the only thing that matters to him is the economy. Like he is a business owner and everything about money for him. Like other I mean, than that, he has no common sense. It ain't even it ain't even about it's it's about the economy too. But I feel like it's about him winning, him winning the media, him winning the 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 everyday cycle to feel like yeah, uh, what I said yesterday was it's right. It's all about him. Yeah, what I said yesterday was right. What I did yesterday was right. Like so. It's just fucked up. Like he really, he pushing buttons. He hired all his partners. He right. did some LeBron shit in the government, mm-hmm. like with the with the with the world. Like you know what I'm saying, like with the power of the world. Like that shit crazy as a motherfucker. And people sitting up there really still rooting for this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I like, think that's the part that scares me. Um, is not that he's stupid because at this point nothing he does I'm surprised by. Like I'm just like. Right. But it's the people who are like, yeah. Could like, they feel how he... Did y'all see the video of the dude outside? I don't know if he was outside the rally, but it was around the time with the rally with the whip. The white dude with the yeah, whip. Yeah, I see yeah. that. He had one arm, and he was outside cracking like a, a yeah. whip whip. And I'm like, this like this is what y'all are relating to. Uh, this is the energy he's putting out. And I'm like, first of all, you, you was going to get killed. he's not even giving off the message for the poor people. That's the shit that's right. so confusing to me. How you, how the poor white people and poor black people that's Trump supporters feeding like any kind of 
positive energy from his message. He not speaking for y'all. Right. He not saying that I'm about to pull y'all up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, Like, so what's your... And this whole thing of like, well, we want to exterminate the blacks or make them slaves again. First of all, your poor ass not about to have no slaves, even if this was back in the day. Like, all white people didn't have slaves. You had to be rich. So y'all not about to have no slaves. Man, we need to get rid of all that shit. Republicans, Democrats... All of that shit. Like, what's the purpose of it? Right. All it do is help, you know what I'm saying, keep the, the separating, you know what I'm saying, the separating narrative yeah. going. Dividing everything is like everything they, they is want, divided. You know what I'm saying? They want everything yeah, they gotta want have a, to a divided, line though. between. Right. What do you what do you li- like or what are you pushing for that I agree with? What do you are you pushing for that I agree with? Like that's what it should be based on. Like what do you have to offer? Mm-hmm. What are you trying to do for me and my people? That's the only thing that I should care about. I don't care if you right. Republican, Democrat. Like, what is that? What right. what is that? Nobody and that's, knows. And Black that's people feel like they gotta the feel the like day. they demo, they gotta vote for the demo, You know what I'm saying? A Democrat just cause. Like, we don't know. We don't even know why we doing that. Right. The Democrats right. just as fucked that. up as the Republicans. Like, they in certain like, situations they are. I mean, if I had to pick, I probably would. If, if somebody just asked me, I probably would say I'm a Democrat just based on the fact that my what you was taught. My beliefs tend to be more in line with the Democratic Party, but that doesn't mean that I agree with every other Democrat. Right. There would never be a case where I'll just say, okay, I'm just voting the whole Democratic ticket without doing my research or doing my due diligence on why I'm voting for each person. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, but, I mean, but Gary, the only reason I be saying that shit and I be having that, that real view because it always go back to what I've said before. What president ever truly said in our lifetime that you would that we could truly speak for had a true black agenda at any part? Like I understand certain, you know what I'm saying, presidents, the economy go up, which which entails that the you know what I'm saying, that black people are able to get jobs more often than than the past. But specifically, specifically, what in our lifetime that you could ever think of like somebody had a true agenda that to true to rectify any kind of black problems that we ever had or ever experienced. Which is why we got to take that upon ourselves. Right, but I the, think I, I really don't think they, um, for the most part, I don't think our uh, Caucasian brothers, who <laughs> most of our presidents have been white, so I don't think that for, sure. for the most part, I don't think they really even identify with how much of a problem it is to know that there needs to be a resolution like i think that now some of their eyes are opening but i feel like and and they go back to just back to uh drew Brees. like i don't even feel like drew was a bad person but was he ignorant and blind to the fact yeah right and that's the situation with most of them so but the difference with the president but the the, the difference is with the president's they can control shit. They put in place laws that further set us back. So at the end of the day, I can only go off of what what you've done. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I can only right, go off of right. But I don't even think they know that it's a problem. Like I don't even think they really. But yeah, uh, that's a part uh, of white supremacy and white problem. privilege. But speaking <laughs> right. of voting, since with the elections coming up in November, what I can't stand to hear is people saying, "Well, I'm not voting for Trump." I'm not voting for Biden because whatever reasons. At this point, is Biden perfect? No. But is he at least mentally, more mentally stable than Trump? A little bit. But I feel like the operation right now is to get Trump the fuck out of the office. So these people are going around saying, I'm just not voting because I don't want... Don't if you don't vote, you are voting yeah, for Trump. Yeah, that, that don't help. That don't help. Like either. stop that whole narrative of my vote don't even count. Well, if it don't count. And you feel like that, that's fine. But don't, one, go around telling other people not to vote. Right. And two, if it don't count and you vote, just, I mean, if you don't think it's, it's going to count say who anyway. You vote for. Just don't say who you vote That for. and, how can I, I'm trying to explain it. If I feel like it does not count and I don't believe that if I do vote, it's not going to hurt anything, right? So right. just go fucking get the politics, man out of politics office. Politics and religion oh. is, the, is, is the same, it's the same shit to me. You don't have to tell anybody what you, right. what your beliefs is or what, who you, how you fall either way. Once you, if you do choose to, you know, what I'm saying, get into that conversation, you can always tell how you feel, but you should never 
tell somebody how they should feel. Right. Or push them, push them to to uh, what you what your agenda is if you if you have. Well, one. I you know I do saying? vote. I mean, I'm gonna vote, but I don't blame people for feeling like they vote don't count because I mean, in, in, in the big scheme of things, I don't know how much it does count. But you still like, vote though. That's my point. I still vote. You vote for the just in more. case. Right. You, you vote I for the vote just, for the in, just case. in case. Also for the fact that my grandma my people did. My yeah, my and my people did. fought for this. My people exactly. fought for you know so what I'm saying I'm and died for I'm us to vote. But but certain things that have happened kind of show us that mm, your vote don't really count too much. Like even with the like Hillary supposedly won the the, the popular vote, but she ain't, ain't the president. Right. Like uh, uh, when Bush just said fuck it. My brother, the governor of Florida, I'm about to recount Florida, sure. and now I win. Like, come on, man. Like, it's definitely rigged, but we still supposed to get out there and do our due diligence. Right. I feel like if you don't do anything at all, you're not even doing the slightest bit of good. And that if you could... don't vote, even if you don't vote for the presidency, vote for your local, you know what I'm saying, yeah. candidates. Right. Because that's, that's what matters. Right. That's what affect you the closest. Mm -hmm. you the most, really. You definitely can't complain if you ain't vote. That's exactly. what I'm saying. You can't say exactly. Like, and, you gotta shut the fuck up. And I'm telling y'all already, if Trump, which if he wins again, which I know he's not, oh, no. hopefully. I, See, that's I don't the know. thing. It's I can't a, I even know. say. It. I, like, <laughs> I don't know. I like. I legit don't know. I don't know, Jack. I don't. I don't like. I don't know what I would do. I already had a hard time accepting that he was president. Shout out to the TikToker shit though. Whoever pulled that little prank with this last rally, oh, yeah. that shit was. What cold. was yeah. it? I missed it. They they pre sell buku oh, fucking tickets. To so the they did like rally. they were having the people RSVP. So yeah. they thought all these people were coming. I know a couple of people who man, are sent the man, RSVP they was and knew they weren't going. A hundred thousand people at that motherfucker. Wow. Like he was supposed to do a rally inside. It's supposed to have another 20,000 people <laughs> outside. 6,000 people showed up to that motherfucker. Damn. I, <laughs> Shout I out to the... But that's what, that's what technology could do these days. Like, that's the type of shit that could go on. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's a big statement because at the end of the day, that's how Trump... That's how he gained his traction through his rallies. Like, that's his strong point. Right. Getting and all the fucking white trash motherfuckers, white supremacists, like, yeah, we about to, this is our meeting time. Mm -hmm. But he it's like, the fucking, an, this the clan leader. It's cool for a lot of them to, to say stuff they've been wanting to say. Karen. Which that part of it is good because now. Um, they put like it out on the, the forefront. Day, they letting us exactly. know. They letting us know who they you are. Show me who you are. Yeah. So I don't have no choice but to believe you. Mm -hmm. And even with him winning, just like, I. I no, I don't want I don't want him to win, but would I be surprised? Hell no. Like in yeah. my mind, I thought there was no way he was winning the first one. Right. Like I still got right. I be getting Facebook I be getting Facebook memories of me putting stuff out there on Facebook saying there is no fucking way he can win. Like it don't even matter. Like I understand, like basically telling everybody, don't worry about it. Just go vote. No way Trump's winning. That next thing mm -hmm. you know, boom, he the fucking president. I, I'm I just like, on it. I, I had I had to make myself go to sleep because I was having a panic attack and I was like I just know when I wake up we're gonna have the first female mm -hmm. president and I woke up to I don't know what station it was but it it was a white lady saying like you aren't dreaming this is and I was like ain't there is no way I thought I was dreaming this shit would make you wake up every morning and die laughing first like just off of that like what like, or whoa. it can it can so you the talked president about president is Donald Trump. Right, the local offices and stuff. I'm like, at this point, I need my people to do their homework. I, I need some more black politicians. And, like, put we got to put ourselves up there to be in positions to make, make the rules and stuff. Yeah. Without, but, I mean, why are we talking about local politicians? What y'all oh think about your girl? Okay. Cantrell. Oh. How y'all feel like she holding <laughs> down the... The, the the COVID nineteen crisis. Now, hold on, Gary. We still living down here. You heard me? I, <laughs> we can't just be going off. I honestly, I could, I no, could, I'm with I you. could pat sis on the back. Like I think she's doing. Um, like as far as Mardi Gras cancel Mardi Gras goes, I feel like once again, like she said, she didn't know it was bad. Right. And I feel like I do feel like that if she would have known, she would have shut the shit down. Just like she said recently, like, if y'all don't follow the rules, y'all not about to have, which, honestly, I don't know why people are going to clubs, bars. I don't understand that they they should still be shut down. 
That's like doing right. the, the challenge. Like, y'all, make sure y'all socially distant, but the clubs, y'all can open. Like, you gotta understand, this New Orleans. This where the, but that's everywhere, where the though. money come from, though. Like everywhere. the money come right. from people. Like that's the only way that the New Orleans can thrive. Like in any type of way, it's traffic. I get Human that, but we traffic. can't thrive if we all dead in a couple of weeks. Yeah, they, they, you gotta you gotta take the right precautions. It's hard to make people happy, to be honest. Yeah, you can't. And I feel like a lot of people. She got a lot of flack for that. Like mm. she just. Tell people wear their mask because it's the right thing to do. Yeah. And y'all who just don't want to wear the mask, like, shh, y'all. Nobody know what to do. Like, nobody just truly knows. Fuck you got, wear the mask. You got the high ups talking about the, you know what I'm saying, the, the World Health Corporations and all these type of people saying one day, oh, wear your mask. Next day, mask don't wear your you. mask. <laughs> like, they don't know. So what we what we supposed to do? Somebody told me hands. That shit just uncomfortable to me. Like you can't, I can't breathe in that shit. Right. Like that that bit do get. I really can't breathe in that shit. Well, that should just should make people want to stay inside. If you don't want to go here and wear your mask, stay your ass inside then. If you feel like you sick though. Like you can't just tell people to just stay inside. Like that's that's the that's one of the hardest things for right. some people to do. Like people people got to live. Mm-hmm. Like you can't just shut down your life because it's a like the flu. Like the flu still like the flu been around. It ain't no cure for that shit. Like it's a, people die from that shit every year. Like but it's a stat. Like thousands of people die from the flu every year. I feel like this is one of those things though. Those this or that things. You rather do this for a hundred dollars or do this. Would you rather stay inside for two weeks and not do anything, or have to walk around with a mask for the rest of your life? Cause well, it ain't. But it, be but two but weeks. but the two weeks. How how guaranteed is the two weeks? Yeah. But I'm just saying, <laughs> like, weeks, a, a smaller the amount of time. The, the two weeks ain't because guaranteed. Because I already stayed inside for the two weeks. Yeah. yeah. Two weeks everybody over. didn't know you did. But everybody ain't right. going to comply. But everybody well, did. Well, we just about then, to be wearing the fucking mask. That's what ju- I'm saying. The George Floyd should happen. And I think, well, yeah. I think, I think the yeah, protests yeah, yeah. Are, are, are pretty, uh, I think the mask should just hit a state like, the mask probably never gone away. Yeah, since oh, yeah. Got this bad. Especially the way I'm seeing people driving around by themselves in their car with, with a, a mask, mask on. on. Like, yeah, this. I is, need y'all to tell y'all grandmothers crazy. to stop walking around with gloves. They the ones that they need poisoning to be, but everybody. They the one that should be uh-huh. inside. The All the grandmas needs to be driving inside. with the blue gloves on. Go your ass inside and know, take the gloves off. Why do people think like gloves don't like transmit the disease or whatever? Just like people think. They don't need to wear condoms. I don't know. Okay, that that's a whole different. Wait, hold on. That's a whole other. <laughs> I'm like explaining where Whoa. I was going with that. Um, All I'm saying is, is if you're in the car, talk. if you're in the car by yourself with a mask on and you suffocate, I'm not saying that I feel sorry. It's on you. I just I just chalk your shit up to say you had corona, but that I, shit is crazy. I don't know. Just I just wear your mask hands. if you want to, man. Keep so wearing them where it's necessary too, it. and then. Like, once everybody catch it, then we just going to move from there. It's like, everybody going to get it. Either you're going to die or you ain't. For like, sure, because I definitely feel like I had it already. Right. It's over with. I want to go. I wonder if you ha- only have to go to the doctor to do, like, the antibody test to see if you ever had it. Well, who else going to have a test? Well, then, you know, they have, like, the testing sites, but I heard those aren't accurate. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So, who else you oh, about see, to see, that's what I'm saying. Now, you can't even send me the, t- like, what's the point of going to the testing site if the testing site not accurate? That is the question. (laughs) Yeah, it's just too many questions. Like, the fact of the matter is, all you can do is kind of limit your interaction with people and then and pray for the best. But don't go around, like, if there's a business who has, they have their own beliefs, and it's like, if you don't wear a mask, don't come here. Don't try to barge into people's stuff like the white man at Walmart. Go somewhere, if you don't want to wear your mask, go find you a business that doesn't permit you to wear a mask. Not y'all just trying to make people fight. They do. Mm -hmm. Y'all just, you know what this is? This is the rise of the fuck you mom generation. The kids who used to be like, fuck you mom. Oh, yeah. Ooh, this is this is I their just, world right now. This the adults. This is not for the adults now. Yeah, like y'all, y'all got to grow up. Wait, the fuck you mom generation. But there wasn't too many black people in that. Uh, in that <laughs> and it ain't too many black people arguing on, on the videos the at least. Because ain't going for that shit. He that's what I'm saying. Instantly. But who are the ones that's getting mad because they got to wear a mask? That you see, yeah, at least. I, 
Like what? I'm white trying to people. help you. Exactly. The Karens. White the people. Privilege. The Karen. The Karens. Oh, <laughs> let's talk about the Karens real quick. They done made that shit. I already told my yeah. parents, I don't want to go to jail, but that just may have to be a L I take and just put it on my record. Because if I encounter a Karen that's like out the so box. So what is a Karen though? Tell me what a Karen is. A Karen, I think it all stems from Karen. the manager at the dollar store. You know how the manager usually always has that the white lady with the side haircut? I think that's where it originated. This is real the, stereotypical, Jazz, but go ahead. The pe- no, I'm saying the where point. it came from. The it's, the, it's the white lady um, who acts as... Th- I said it wrong. It's the white lady who acts to see the manager all the time with the the inverted bob, I, I guess. I don't think her hairstyle has anything to do it with it. It doesn't, the but that's like... You know Most what I'm saying, time. right? Yeah, Juan? I, I, like, yeah, they got the... the picture you paint. No, I ain't painting this picture. I'm just saying. Um, and okay. right now, it's evolved to the person, uh, the lady who wants to call the police because yeah. uh, mm-hmm. there's something going on that they don't like as if that matters. That's that's the case. So it stems from the old girl and... and that's and, what and I think. That's what I first... She like the original Karen or something? That's Yeah, because it's like, not the police. I want to speak to your manager. For what, ma'am? Somebody right. pull up the original Karen. And now, Karens are evolving to calling the police. Right. Calling people niggas and stuff. Like, I just, I know personally I wouldn't be able to handle it. As these, much self-control as... These cameras been around. Yeah, like, like the hell Emmett Till. Like, Emmett Till type story. <laughs> that, she might be the original Karen. There you go. Uh, like, what was her name? I, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. But that whole said she lied on her deathbed. Yes. And shout out to Dave Chappelle for doing his... Have y'all wa- been watching Man, that? that, yeah, that, that shit was sure. great. It was, right? No, what is it about? Um, so, it was like a... Uh, it was just stand-up? a think piece. It was kind of like a right. think piece. It wasn't even no stand. It wasn't pure he comedy. Was just talking up there, spitting stuff. I learned a couple of things. He kind of was just giving his insight on everything that's going on right now. Um, and he had some real valuable points. Of course, he made the shit funny because the niggas hilarious. But mm-hmm. uh, yeah, it was, it was great. Like it was, it was. Yeah, it was watch it. Some real insight. Yeah, I think I, one of the things that he said that stuck out to me was us putting so much, you know what I'm saying, like, credence into celebrities and what what mm-hmm. they think. Right. Like, that shit, the fucking, like, that shit came out in damn near 2000, the Ja Rule shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, what does Ja think? Like, who gives a fuck about what right. Ja Rule think about at time like this? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, who cares what these celebrities talk about? Especially like, with the, like, you know what I'm saying? I pedophile think, ring think, and stuff. <laughs> right. I think part of the problem with that is the 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 stock or the I guess the celebrity the status that we give these celebrities like our celebrities are are entertainers they're not our quote leaders, unquote, leaders. Mm-hmm. like not saying that they can't lead but that's what I think we lacking on I think we lacking the 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 people that's ap- actually going to implement the change or come up with the policies for change mm-hmm. like those type of leaders like that's not Ti job and not to say uh, you know, Ti not doing not doing a good job of 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 uh, bringing awareness of things like that. But I don't want Ti to be the nigga to put it in place. Like, right. it gotta be. You gotta give me somebody a little bit more. But that's why I feel like it. it, it he got he kind of got put in a bad place because you got somebody like Killer Mike that came on right after him that come from the same background as him that that's looked at as the same thing as him as uh, entertainer. But he got way more fucking knowledge about everything. You know what I'm saying? Self government. But, but he got five sleep. minutes to see that killer Mike different from Ti. But not. Like, how, but not. Five minutes. But they got to. They got to say something though first. They got to say yeah, something on say the something. issue. You know what I'm saying? And, I, so, and, they, and yeah, they, they do. They all like. I'm cool with them saying something. I'm cool with them letting us know where they stand because shit. I'm I'm all for knowing where anybody stand. But I'm talking about the the Martin Luther Kings who's gonna actually actually implement do something the yeah right. right like but that's my hope though how, like i how, said how, how easy is that it's <laughs> not easy and it takes you know it people they only come it takes a while but once. hopefully they got somebody on the brink of a right of a breakthrough that's what we need that's what we need we need them names drop those names right that's what i'm saying like i feel like our whole country is lacking leadership from the president to everybody like even with even with the rioting and the looting and all of that, that that's I'm all I'm cool with that because that got their eyes open. 
And maybe wow. this this all stemmed from that saying, that's true. It's not what you know, but who you know. So now all yeah. the people who knew people up in these leadership roles and they don't know shit. Now we stuck. Right. So. Right. Exactly. That's what we get. But all right. But we talked about a lot just right. now. What else? We all good? We can talk about sports. Yeah, we can. We can.